In this video, we're going to talk about the basilar artery, which I have highlighted here in dark green. The basilar artery arises from the confluence of the paired vertebral arteries. It terminates by bifurcation into the left and right posterior cerebral arteries. It throws off four sets of branches along the way. The first of which is the anterior inferior cerebellar artery which supplies the inferolateral aspects of the cerebellum. That's the anterior inferior cerebellar arteries. Next, we have the labyrinthine arteries, which in most people depart from the AICA. In about 15% of the population, they'll depart from the basilar artery itself. These pass laterally to enter the internal acoustic meatus in order to supply the inner ear. Next we have the pontine arteries, which as their name suggests, supply the pons. And lastly we have the superior cerebellar artery, which supply the superior surface of the cerebellum. Their course is quite complicated, so I'll Remove all of the other branches we've discussed already so that we can view them in isolation. That's the superior cerebellar arteries there. I like to remember the branches of the basilar artery with the mnemonic A+. That's A for anterior inferior cerebellar arteries, P for pontine arteries, L for labyrinthine arteries, and then S for superior cerebellar arteries. To reiterate, the origin of the basilar artery is the confluence of the vertebral arteries, and the termination of the basilar is at the bifurcation into the left and right posterior cerebral arteries. Okay, fantastic. So that's our branches of the basilar artery all covered. Now let's ground them in their anatomical context. So let's go back to the beginning now and bring in some important anatomical relations of the basilar artery. The most important of which arguably is the pons. The basilar artery traverses the basilar groove of the pons on its ventral aspect and commences at the pontomedullary junction, which is the verge between the medulla and the pons. It terminates at the superior aspect of the pons and sits tightly between this part of the brainstem and the occipital bone and then the sphenoid bone as well which together create the clivus, that, uh, that slanted portion of bone that the, the basilar artery almost rests against. Let's see how our branches fit in now. So we have the pontine arteries directly supplying the pons, the superior cerebellar artery curving around the superior aspect of the pons to supply the superior cerebellum. We then have the AICA doing the same for the inferolateral <clears throat> cerebellum and the labyrinthine artery typically departing from the AICA to traverse the internal acoustic meatus towards the inner ear. Just a few more important relations to touch on now. These are cranial nerves, the origins of which uh, closely relate to parts of the the basilar artery and its branches. So we first have the oculomotor nerve here at the verge of the pons and the midbrain. We have the trochlear nerve departing the posterior aspect of the midbrain and, and traversing that verge parallel to the superior cerebellar artery. We have the facial and vestibulocochlear at the pontomedullary junction as well as the glossopharyngeal here closely related to the anterior inferior cerebellar artery, as is the 
the abducens nerve, whose origin is very intimately related to that of the basilar artery. Now, before we wrap up, I'd just like to show you very briefly uh, a sagittal MRI brain image, which I think is, is useful for, for consolidating our anatomical context uh, around the basilar artery. So let's bring that up now. So first of all, we have the pons here. And on our MRI image, that's the pons there. Cerebellum behind and the midbrain atop the pons. Anterior to the midbrain is this hypothalamus just here in our MRI. While you can't see the basilar artery on this, this sequence, you can imagine it squished between the pons and the clibus and originating close to the pontomedullary junction in this space, which is known as the pontine cistern. Okay, I hope you enjoyed uh, that tour. That's uh, a pretty interesting and important artery, this one, so well worth knowing the anatomy of. Thanks so much for watching and hit subscribe if you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video.